The Honorable Member from Charlottetown, Brighton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Currently, the Department of Transportation, Infrastructure and Energy is in the process of deprotecting a piece of the Royalty Oaks. A protected stand of oaks and other hardwoods at the intersection of Riverside Drive and St. Peter's Road. The multi-million dollar intersection was announced earlier in the year and is part of a promise to solve traffic problems in the area. As expected, the solution includes a roundabout which has already been built. The next phase includes a never seen before solution called displaced left turn. This is a complicated way of making a left turn which cannot be explained without watching the video that the government has prepared for consultation. Displaced left turns takes a lot of space, and the end result is that government needs a piece of the protected natural area royalty oaks to make it all work, as the scheme involves two left turn lanes, two right turn lanes, the on-ramp, and across the two lanes in both directions of the bypass. With a total of nine lanes across and a bit of space between opposing lanes, this will indeed become a major intersection. That the government wants and needs to use precious protected lands comes as no surprise. Remember Plan B? The department's aim seems to cover our island in a network of superhighways like those found in other provinces, with the local attraction being roundabout sprinkled liberally every few miles. This kind of highway system is inappropriate for PEI and totally inappropriate for meeting our climate crisis goals. Our Dr. Ed McDonnell of UPEI has pointed out that our most popular tourist feature by far is not our beaches, not Anne Green Gables, but our landscape. Yet the government seems determined to use and match any federal dollars that can be found to cover yet another acre of beautiful PEI with asphalt. It's not that the government does not do a good engineering job. If the aim is to move cars efficiently and safely, they do it well, but there's more to life than cars, and Royalty Oaks demonstrates all too well that government is single-mindedly focused on cars. Take, for instance, the bike and footpath included in the Royalty Oaks intersection. The government seems finally to be getting the idea that foot and bike paths are needed, but they also seem to be the opinion that the best location for such a path is right next to the high-speed highway as if every splatter and exhaust of the cars is a needed part of the experience for the pedestrians and bicyclists. At Royalty Oaks, it turns out that there are wonderful opportunities for relocating the path behind the Royalty Oaks or even through the woods themselves, if done gently. If the path is relocated, it's even unnecessary to use any of the Royalty Oaks stand. This project clearly needs a creative landscape architect or other designer who has objectives other than just moving cars. Shame on the Department of Transportation, Infrastructure and Energy for even thinking of diminishing our royalty oaks and shame on the Minister of Environment for allowing this to go forward. Instead, please use this and, other, and all future project funds to expand protected areas, plant more trees and make real and delightful paths for pedestrians and bicyclists. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.